Chinese phones these days, their quality is pretty good. Cheap, reliable, and it has all the features I need. My favorite Chinese phone? So we all know China's a very interesting place. You've got the culture, you've got the astronomical rise in the economy. You know, everything in the world is pretty much made in China. But there's something very special about China, and that is how quickly it adopted the use of smartphones and just how important smartphones are to everybody's life in China. Due to the fact that you have large migrant populations in the bigger cities, people often don't have a place to really call home for a long period of time. And a lot of them don't have the money to afford buying a computer, something like a big desktop or an expensive laptop. So everybody from the poorest rural person all the way up to the richest person in China generally does everything that most people would use their computers for on their phone. What is my favorite Chinese phone? Join me as I go through Huajian Bay, China's biggest electronics market and probably the biggest electronics market in the whole world to try and find out what the best Chinese cell phone of 2018 is. Now this place is a maze. It's pretty easy to get lost here, but it's really awesome. It's very interesting. If you want to just come and take a look at gadgets and get lost looking at all the weird and wonderful things that are available in China. But luckily for us, finding cell phones is relatively easy because all you need to do is walk down the main strip and you will see cell phone shops, official and unofficial, on the left and the right everywhere. So it's pretty easy to just go around and browse. So we're going to be walking into some of these shops and I'm going to be asking the shop assistants what their most expensive phone is and also what their cheapest phone is. So let's start with Oppo, which is one of my, at least used to be one of my favorite Chinese brands. I've actually been a fan of Oppo for a while. You know, I bought the Find 7 many years ago. I have a video about it. And I thought the, the quality was really good. In fact, in fact, as far as I know, the OnePlus actually basically was made by ex Oppo staff who left and created their own company. So let's go take a look at what Oppo has to offer. Now you have the best phone in China. What phone is that? Plus. This is the best phone, right? What is it? This is Oppo's main phone. So the best phone is the best phone. So the best phone is the best phone. Oh, photo, camera. This makes you look all fancy and pretty. I guess. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So this is the best one on offer at the moment, as far as I could tell. I mean, it looks and feels very high quality. Um, of course, it looks very much like an Apple or something, but all phones do these days, don't they? Here's their budget model. Really nice screen. So 1000 RMB really not too bad. Remember guys, I'm actually going to be buying the phone I think is the best value for money and there will be a giveaway. Hey guys, that's me. Cool. Well, I mean, camera looks fairly all right. Next, let's take a look at Huawei. Well, we all know Huawei and we know that they're embroiled in various scandals here and there, but we can't deny the fact that they make fantastic phones. So just like when you have the best phone now, what phone is it? Is it the best one? Okay, this is the best one. The Mate 10. Do you have any difference? It's the best one for Huawei Mate 10. Now Huawei is the best one for Huawei Mate 10. It's the best one for Huawei Mate 10. Oh, oh, wow. That's really good. <laughs> cool. This is oh, well, yes, when you need the cheapest one. The Okay, so here we have the cheapest Huawei. Don't you take a tingle tour? I'm leaving my picture all over these phones everywhere. It's not bad, actually. Thank you. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. That's very nice. So far, I can definitely say that the Huawei top-end Huawei phone is a lot better than the top-end Oppo phone. However, the cheaper Oppo phone feels much better. The camera is also way better than the one on the Huawei. So, of course, I'm not trying to get too technical here. I'm going on a bit of a gut feel. You know, I do know my phones fairly well. I do know electronics fairly well. 
Let's go see what Xiaomi has to offer. Of course, we can't talk about Chinese phones without mentioning Xiaomi. In fact, they're probably the brand that started this whole revolution of Chinese phones getting better. I use a Chinese phone and it's the Xiaomi Mi 6. It's cheaper than its Samsung and Apple equivalents. It shoots 4K video, it has 6 gigabytes of RAM and you can even use it as a remote control for your telly. Oh. oh really? Wow, I mean for that price this is a very nice feeling quality. So I use a Chinese smartphone, it's called the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2. And the reason that I chose this phone is because out of all of the companies trying that screen to body ratio experiment, I think Xiaomi came out on top and delivered something that looks really nice and really premium. It doesn't have that stupid chin on the top that the iPhone has. Um, I've had a couple of Xiaomi phones before and they've worked out really, really well for me. So if you're looking for a new phone, I can't recommend them highly enough. This is a bit dark, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I like the quality and the feel of these are very nice. Xiaomi does a very good job. Very nice job of um, making a good solid feeling product, I must say. Very nice. Okay. All right, this is wow, Oh, that's cheap. That's really not bad. Six ninety nine. That's very cool. Camera leaves a bit to be desired, but yeah, wow, very very nice. I use mainly this phone for work. Uh, they gave it to me, so I, I got uh, the chance to use it. Now, it is nothing nearly compared to my iPhone, in my opinion. But, it works well. It does the job. Cool. Oh, thank you very much. Vivo is fairly new on the scene, but you know what? They make really good stuff. So let's go find out. Hi, I'm Colin of Broadcast and I use Vivo. I think it's great, cheap, reliable, and it has all the features I need. So, what, what's your name? What is 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 your Okay, this looks very nice. Wow. The screen is very, very nice. And, um, let's see, picking up banding on the camera. But, <laughs> That's kind of cool. And this, this is some two beer. This is some special. Hi, Xiao Hao. Okay. So it's good to take photos, and it's got a very big memory. How much is it? 128. 128. Wow. 128 gig. And that's really good. The screen does look very nice. Okay. Okay. Well, this is the cheapest one they have. It's a little higher price than uh, you know some of the competition, but feels fairly good quality. Now I know a lot of you out there must be screaming at your monitor saying, what about the OnePlus? Well, don't worry, in a minute, Naomi's going to talk a little bit about the OnePlus, but out of all of the phones that I saw today, Definitely the Huawei Mate 10 was the best, no doubt about it. But now what I would like you guys to do is to tell me which of the budget phones you like the most. Because I'm going to take a look at my comments and the one that's uh, requested the most is the one I'm going to go and buy. So next week I'm actually going to film myself, sorry, this week, this coming week, I'm going to film myself buying the phone, unboxing the phone, and then we're going to have a giveaway and one of you guys is going to win it. So yeah, please comment down below. On top of that, 
I might be getting a second phone. A friend of mine has told me that he's working for a, an e-commerce company that might be willing to sponsor me one. So I might have two phones to give away. So just stay tuned for that. Anyway, over to Naomi. Hey everyone, this is Naomi Wu, aka Sexy Cyborg Online. Some of you might know me and my work online. Winston has asked me to talk a little bit about Chinese phones. Chinese phones these days, their quality is pretty good. I wouldn't recommend Chinese cars for now, but for phones, I have been using my OnePlus 5 for a while, and I have made these little gadgets uh, for this phone case for my OnePlus 5. It is pretty sneaky. There is a prism at the uh, corner and it can take sneaky pictures. If someone is following me trying to take a, a sneaky picture, I can take it right back, but they won't notice it. So this one is pretty neat. And uh, sometimes because I live in Shenzhen, so if I try to be more cyberpunk, I have my wrist mount. So... I can just pop it right in like this. I don't know how practical this is, but uh, it's pretty cool to uh, show people. And sometimes it goes with my outfit. And at the meantime, I have been talking to Winston doing another collaboration. So stay tuned and stay awesome. Now, of course, we can't finish this without getting the opinion from probably the most famous phone guy in Shenzhen, the iPhone guy, Scotty from Strange Parts. My favorite Chinese phone? It's actually the custom Strange Parts iPhone I made here in China, complete with the light up logo. And guys, of course, you know the drill. Let's do it. As always, stay awesome. <laughs> Who says that? Who says that? Someone says that, it right? Sounds, yeah. This guy, that's who. <laughs> stay awesome.